All right, guys, uh, I know it's been a minute since I posted a video. Um, today's gonna be kind of a quick, just short um, video. I've got some more stuff coming on the jet skis, um, but I will save that for another video. Um, but kind of a quick and easy way, if you've got a generator that um, is tripping, um, the issue I run into, uh, I've had this now for a couple of years and on hot, hot days, uh, it trips out running the air conditioner on my camper. So. Um, the fuses that come with it are like a 13.5 and so these fuses run doesn't matter if I connect it to the 220 plug um, you can wire these up with a twist lock do 110 or 220 or you've got your 110 plug in down here so either way you've got a little 13.5 amp um, fuse or resettable fuse here so you can get these on Amazon um, or online I bought a two pack for like 12 bucks um, and you can replace these. I think they come in like 15s, 20s, 25s, 30s, all the way up. So um, again, you don't want to get too crazy with this. Um, kind of know what, what you're pulling and um, kind of what your amp load um, is. And again, there's a reason why they put a 13.5. It's a safety thing, but I'm going to go ahead and bump this one up because I'm really, really close. Again, it'll run my camper. Just when it gets super, super hot out, um, doesn't quite, quite hold. It'll run like 15 minutes or so, and then it trips. So I'm gonna bump it up. Um, and again, it's really simple to do. Uh, pretty much, you can pull this all apart. There's like four bolts that hold, hold, hold this. And this is pretty standard on about all generators. Um, they're pretty, pretty much all really uh, close the same. Um, mine has the actual little Phillips that you want to do here on the backside. I've got some eyelets, so. Pretty much these will lay right back on here and I will tighten them down. So uh, pretty easy to do. These basically just set in place here and you've got a little um, nut here on the front that holds them in. So really simple, uh, quick way to um, up your breaker or resettable fuse um, on a generator. Again, you guys do this at your own risk. Uh, there is a potential that you can burn something up ruin your generator um, these wires here could get hot potentially um, so again this is at your own risk uh, again I wouldn't recommend going and jumping way up there crazy on your amps because yeah there's always that possibility I know um, from running this on my house going to a 20 will be no no issue because my uh, my camper runs all day on a 20 amp breaker so um, again you're, you're talking really really short leads going to here shouldn't be any problem with the wire size uh, this generator being able to handle that so you guys kind of do your own research and at your own risk but um, again if you're if you're looking to do it it is very simple and uh, it's pretty cheap so I'm gonna go ahead and get this put together and yeah if you guys have questions on this let me know I'll probably try to link these um, down in the description as soon as somebody's looking and we will catch you all in the next video